AW139 is a fantastic helicopter for emergency operations in the state of Victoria. The speed and range of the helicopter means that we can attend the far reaches of the state in a fairly short time frame and transport critically unwell patients back to the major hospitals within Melbourne within short time frames to ensure they receive the care that they require. The AW139 is a twin engine helicopter that's uh, certified for day and night operations under the instrument flight rules and visual flight rules. So this aircraft has a highly sophisticated avionics and autopilot system. It's a very fast aircraft. We cruise around at approximately 260 kilometres an hour. It has an endurance of about two and a half hours. So with that speed and endurance, we can cover the state very quickly. They're basically a new generation of helicopters, so they have the latest Honeywell digital aviation package as well as a communication package. It just makes it very reliable and it makes very good communications with rural centres around the state. Hems 5, just getting airborne from Essendon en route to Rosebud, ETA approximately 16.45 at this stage. 80 year old female, left the road and flogged into a tree at high speed, about 80 k. Roger, thanks mate. Our 139 aircraft is set up as a flying mobile intensive care ambulance. We've got sophisticated monitoring capabilities, sophisticated ventilatory capabilities. We carry four units of blood and the full range of drugs and equipment utilised by the microflight paramedic group. The aircraft has a large cabin for us to work in. It's undergone extensive fit out with storage areas for medical equipment, medical lighting, power and oxygen supplies. The aircraft is able to be configured in a number of different ways to accommodate a variety of different circumstances from uh, transporting medical retrieval teams to winching operations, also double loading of uh, patients from accidents and also uh, we're able to do mass casualty evacuations. We have a winch fitted to each aircraft. These winches are rated to 250 kilos and have 290 feet of usable cable on them. That allows us to access patients that are in remote areas, often within tall timber that we're otherwise unable to land in, as well as out of the water and off vessels out at sea. Here we have the tracker searchlight, which is a high intensity searchlight that we utilise for lighting up landing scenes at night time, as well as searching at night. His first dive was 16 metres and his second dive was 30 metres. The 139 is a great EMS machine because of its speed, uh, its range and its power and the, the operating conditions that the crew is able to work within inside the cabin, coupled with the avionics facilities and equipment at uh, state of the art. Uh, we have a 56 year old male who's been allegedly assaulted. Ambulance Victoria is proud to have the AW139 as part of our fleet. What it enables us to do is to fly longer, have an extended range and obviously fly quicker back into the trauma centres in Melbourne if you require it.
Tell us a bit about the uh, systems on the uh, AW139, if you could give us a bit of an overview. A bit of an overview. Uh, yep, cool. So we've got uh, the glass cockpit you see at the front, two screens for the uh, left-hand pilot, two for the uh, the flying pilot. Um, they are made up of a uh, MFD and a PFD, a primary flight display, uh, and your multifunction display. Um, on your multifunction, uh, you've got uh, a power plant page that gives you all your engine parameters, and you usually have this um, up for um, takeoff and landing, or if you have any emergencies, that's where you'd be. Uh, you've also got uh, a systems page that gives you an outline of uh, all your systems, um, hydraulics, electrics, and flight controls. Um, and the one we use the most is the map page. It has our weather radar, uh, it has tours, uh, and provides us all our traffic information as well. Fantastic, and can you tell us a bit about the FMS? Yep, the FMS is a um, Primus Epic system, uh, was originally designed for uh, uh, commercial fixed wings, uh, but it fits nicely into here. Um, we are able to um, do all our nav planning and communications through um, this system. 
um, and it works um, with our MFDs and PFDs as well. Fantastic. And what about aircraft startup? How easy is that? Aircraft startup can be uh, pretty straightforward. Second start of the day uh, can happen pretty quickly after we've been through all our systems checks. Um, it's essentially uh, powering the aircraft up on battery, um, confirming that all the circuit breakers are in and all the switches are all configured in the correct place for start, uh, which we can run through pretty quickly. Then it's uh, pumps on, switches on for the fuel. Uh, we clear the disc um, using our uh, uh, flight nurse or crewman, um, and then we can uh, simply go engine start using um, our mode select. Fantastic. Can you tell us about the aircraft limitations? What's your cruise performance? Okay, we generally cruise um, at about 135 max, gives us a good, uh, a good fuel burn um, and gets us on task pretty quickly. Um, our v &E changes with altitude, so it's not a fixed one, um, but uh, generally altitude's where we're cruising at, it's around the 150 mark. Fantastic. And what's the uh, duration? How, how long can you be in the air for? Okay, so um, with the standard tanks, we carry uh, 1,270 kilos of fuel, and that'll give us three hours and 10 minutes endurance. Can you take any extended fuel by any chance? No, we can't. We don't, uh, we're not fitted with a ox tank, which uh, would normally sit in the back where all our uh, medical suite is. Um, that would give us another uh, almost 500 kilos.